here's a question for you. Is marriage overrated? Marriage rates have been declining since the 70s, and 2021 was the first year that more children were born out of wedlock than in it. Well, one psychologist is telling us why. First, traditional reasons for marriage, like economic stability and social mobility, no longer matter. Next, people marry when they are happy, and we as a society are less happy. Great. Dang. Also, high divorce rates paint a bad picture. Next, the insane cost of weddings. Also, women are fine doing motherhood alone. And lastly, single women are happier and live longer. It turns out that married men have better health and happiness, but it's the opposite for women. Huh. All right. I'm not mm. surprised. I mean, no, we weren't allowed a checking account until like 1973. <laughs> so like, obviously you needed to get married because how are you going to put a shelter over your head? And now you can do it yourself. More women are in grad school than men for the first time in history in America. I, I totally understand this. And in Europe, it's partners. That the, the, There's no need for the extravagant wedding and what comes with it. I love being married. I love being married. I'm codependent as all hell. But I can see why you wouldn't need it anymore. I think a lot of uh, people's decisions about marriage, especially we're all about the same age in our early 40s, and a lot of their decisions Al's seemingly... Not. Al's super old. Well, he's a little <laughs> older. Uh, seemingly come from <laughs> how we were raised, you know, like what the situation is with our parents. And for myself and my husband, both of our parents have been married for over 40 years. Um, we see a value in partnership because we've seen four decades of how partnership can work and be a benefit to a family. That being said, there are people who have come from, you know, parents who were never married, parents who were divorced, and they're making decisions based on the benefits versus the um, the negatives about how that situation affected them. I think it's very personal, and I also think that we're in a place where it's about time that people can make these decisions. The only thing I will say is, if you have a value or you want to be married in some way, shape, or form, don't reduce reduce that by saying that it's not for you if you really in your heart want it because I think a lot of people do that as well like if it's not happening in this timeline they're like well I just don't believe in marriage but you're open to it so if there's something that you want in any capacity stay open to it without like saying it's not for you see I picked up a totally different part of the study I picked up how women are happier single and men are happier married and for the most part and I'm talking about you know, not same-sex couples here, but for the most part, women take care of the men, generally speaking, right? It's like one extra child in your household. Right. <laughs> generally speaking here. So when women are single, they're like, oh my gosh. What do you think I'm we, doing here? <laughs> men. Taking care of my family. I'm not saying, I never said you. I'm saying You said men, and that's me. I'm offended. Did I not say generally speaking? Generally speaking, and every single study literally under These the studies are so this. dumb, and so is marriage. The end. <laughs> What? Yeah. What do you mean? Do, marriage is. D if you had a business and 50% of it was failing, would you close that business down? The yeah. Marriage is stupid. They gouge you at weddings. It's like fifty thousand dollars, and then you end that in divorce. But and I got to give half of everything to you for this stupid <laughs> certificate. I'm sorry, but listen, when when your wife Put that went in your away, study. when your wife went away, what was in the fridge? Every single I love for being the with my wife. It doesn't mean I need to be married to her and have a celebration, invite people who don't even want to come and celebrate with me with a dance floor that lights up. Does that mean I love her <laughs> but more? Does your, no, my point, though, you're missing the point, though, is your totally. wife takes care of the household, so to speak. You're here working, yes, but who has that big calendar up in, in your kitchen? Your wife. Who had all those different lunches with everyone's names and breakfasts and dinners and the drinks matching it? Your wife. So I'm just saying, women Women typically put on and take on a lot of the household. So when they become single, mm. it's interesting that they're happier. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm pointing out. You do a lot. You're here. I get it. But I just wanted to point that out. I also cook and build. And, and build. Procreate. <laughs> <laughs> and what? Right back. He said and procreate. Oh, God. <laughs>